Here we have another guitar that's just come out of the workshop. It's heading very soon to our Available Now section, so I thought it would be a nice opportunity to give it a little bit of a show to you, and I will do some very mediocre demoing on it so you can hear how it sounds. First of all, I thought I'd just give you a little bit of a talk around the instrument. So this is our mid-sized model called the TM. Uh, we have on it, I decided to use some beautiful Indian rosewood on the back and sides, um, which I have to say, the more and more I build with it, the more I absolutely love it. I think it's also fair to say that not all Indian rosewood is created equally. Therefore, I found the older growth Indian rosewood is much more superior, both tonally and aesthetically. others right at the beginning of my career when I was trying to kind of start to collect some some stash in my wood store and it's always that precarious time in the early point of your career when you don't really have much money uh, you suddenly see gorgeous wood that you know you have to invest in and you're desperately trying to think should I spend my money on this should I not I have to say when it came to this wood I'm so glad that I did this is actually my last set famous luthier Stephen Sabell. He had some Indian rosewood in his stash for 20 years that he has now sold to me, which I look forward to using. Um, but yeah, it definitely goes without saying that old growth Indian rosewood is the Indian rosewood that you want to be looking for. fingerboard and bridge and then you'll notice we've kept it simple but elegant in terms of the embellishments just a simple rosewood inlaid rosette surrounded by koa purfling and that koa purfling is used throughout the guitar the back and sides and the front etc and also we've done a little 12 fret inlay there with koa the fretboard is nice and clean as you can see but we've put some copper side dots on so you still know where you are when you're playing um, back and sides as Rosie said is the beautiful Indian rosewood got mahogany neck again on this one and we've kept the back of the head plate nice and simple with ebony gold and black button go to 510 tuners which are cool and finally rosewood on the head plate on the front of the headstock and that's really about it <laughs> 